Hey, what's going on everybody? So Dizer here with a new video of Clash Mini and in this video I'm going to try out this uh, deck which uh, pretty much I found it on Reddit and one of the guys on Reddit out there they just they were showing a deck which is uh, pretty much using this strategy it's uh, not the exact strategy however instead of the magic archer he's using or he, he or she is using the uh the archer itself so let me just try to pull that out for a second in here just to make sure that i did so yeah pretty much it's um, a spear goblin countess uh electro wizard giant skeleton bowler and the archer however because i don't have an archer i'm just going with the magic archer so i tried this once and this guy had the the best win streak is 20 win streak so this must be kind of a win streak deck so let's see how will this go i think it's gonna be great so let's uh, try this out with you guys before that be sure to subscribe and like for more clash mini videos and i'd really appreciate it if you could give this video up to 60 or 70 likes or even more so let's go uh, let's go ahead for a deal so let me show you here i have one win streak so far currently i have 308 trophies i know i'm way below comparing to the others let's see so yeah, I still need 400 trophies to be in the top 1000 at least. Okay, so, so let's go ahead and hopefully we can win this. So now we are going to face the Shield Maiden, which is somehow tough, but uh, hopefully we'll try to manage it here. Okay, so let's see. I think it's it's not that easy. It, it might be risky, maybe because I'm using the Magic Archer. I know the Archer is strong. I still don't have her, as I said. However, it's uh, pretty much how it goes, so yeah, let's see, maybe we can win this. Okay, so uh, the shield maiden is uh, pretty much using its shield, and uh, we are not doing it this round, but it's okay. This does not mean we are not really winning at all. Still 1-0 for my opponent, for Leroy, Leroy Jankness, I think this is how it's pronounced. Okay. What should I use in here? Uh, let's go with that one and the bowler. I will keep. I will probably just try to keep the uh, electro wizard for the round after this. Hopefully, I can win this one. So let's see. Oh, cool. Okay, we placed this in a good place. At least, yeah. So this guy is using the archer itself. However, we are able to take that down. It's this is an easy one. At least. The good thing in, uh, with the giant uh, skeleton is that whenever it dies, you can make sure that you will still deal the most damage. So I try to make sure to upgrade that mini, uh, uh, that mini first, then go for the others. Okay, now we are going to use the electro wizard in here. So let's see, maybe we can upgrade that one. Okay, so this will be risky. Uh, should I do this in here? Maybe. Just trying to change, switch things uh, around because my opponent will probably change the places. Yeah, as assumed. Okay, so uh, pretty much. I don't know if we can win this. We can probably. Can we? You think? Maybe. Yeah, we might do it. Okay, this is this seems possible at this point. Okay, we are doing this. Two, one. So so far we're doing great. Okay, hopefully we can win the next round, which is round four. It's a match point. Let's go and upgrade the giant skeleton uh, probably twice. And let's just do it this way. And uh, yeah, so I will just... Okay, never mind. I'll just keep it this way. I think if, if as soon as my minis are close to each other, it's really more safer. And uh, this is what I at least think or believe initially this is uh, so yeah I really like I prefer that as a beginning okay look at that we were able to take most of or at least those easily but oh yeah we are winning this which is unexpected which was unexpected but it turns out it's really great and easy okay I can tell this deck is great it's good uh, it's, we got a victory in here got two win streaks now 
Should I go for one more round? Maybe. Should I give it a try? I'm scared, to be honest, because it's still a thing that I'm not sure about. Um, it, we might go with other strategies or other styles. I just, you know, you cannot be that sure until you try it multiple times. So let's go and do it one more time. Okay, this time we are versus Archer. The Archer is easy to counter. However, the one thing that scares me about the Archer is that it deals damage to all or at least to most minis out there in the battle itself. So this makes things uh, tougher and scarier to me at least. Look at that. Okay, uh oh, this is unexpected to be honest. Yeah, so now the good thing is that as soon as this the skeleton dies, it's just gonna take that I think we can take this before the archer kills us okay cool we got one point in here at least I'm in the safe mode at this point the giant skeleton being at uh, second upgrade is a good thing okay so let's let's do it this way let's upgrade the giant skeleton to two stars hmm I don't know if I'm going correctly however if I if I lose this one it's I can still say that I'm not losing. We can still be in a good uh, position here, so we will see. Uh oh, no, this is this was super unexpected. So it's okay. We are getting this. Maybe not now, but at least later. Yeah, it didn't work. We need to deploy more minis down there. I need to have those guys in here and. Uh, Maybe just moving things around and just trying to keep them all next to each other's. I don't know. We're just trying to see. So after that, I will have to put the elect the magic archer. The magic archer is that that many worth uh, for uh, elixirs, which is really uh, really not that easy to deal with at at some point. Uh, but you know, eventually you will have to do it, and you will have to deal with it. Wow, look at that. Yeah, we are not winning this. Uh, it seems like the archer is can counter this. I still don't know. I cannot decide really. Okay, we got. We need to have our uh, the, the. Yeah, I think we should do it this way. Let's see. So we will do it that way now. And um, probably. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. We will. We are just uh, trying to see things out together and see what works well and what does not work. Okay, so this might work well. Hopefully, I hope so. Okay, so yeah, good. At least we did something in here. I hope we can win now. We got two, two. This so even if I lose in here, I can tell that we can it sometimes works and it sometimes does not. So we are still not that confident. So should I switch places? Maybe. Yeah, just to make sure, whatever my opponent will try or whatever he or she will do, at least it's a buddy. So I, I assume it's a he. Okay, so yeah, this is a good spot in here. Oh yeah, look at that. This is great. And uh, it seems like, uh oh, oh no, we were too close. So this, I, I think this deck is really great. I, I highly suggest you guys to give it a try and see how it goes. I will just keep playing with this. I know I can do such great things with it. But if you're gonna ask me, I think the archer might do even better. I still don't know because I really like the magic archer. And one downside of it is that the the main thing that with my deck is that I do not have a I do not have another upgrade for the electro wizard. So the electro wizard deals uh, really does a lot of thing. And that person who has 20 win streaks has three stars already for the spear goblin. So this might be the best deck for a really long win streak. So, or the most win streak ever you can get. So I will keep trying this out and keep you updated. Probably I'll just post it on Twitter or in the community itself in my YouTube channel. So yeah, that's pretty much for this video, for this video guys. I hope you all enjoyed watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like for more Clash mini videos. Let me know which are your 
your best decks, what kind of minis you're using and for which hero. I really want to know your thoughts and I really want to learn about your strategies. So yeah, that's just pretty much. Goodbye. See you later, everyone.